What if I told you that having a male or female bestie in a relationship does not mean cheating? Or have you even found yourself sometimes in a situation where maybe your girlfriend or your wife has this mystery bestie, a male, and you know, sometimes it just puts you in doubt because she would leave you hanging sometimes just to go meet up with this bestie or sometimes the bestie will call at odd hours and you keep wondering, could there be more to this friendship or is just truly a friendship? Well, friendships are important. They provide comfort and support. But when it comes to having besties of the opposite sex, especially when you're in a relationship, boundaries matters a lot. So here is the question. If she has a male bestie or he has a female bestie, could it mean that they are cheating? The answer is yes and no. Let me explain. As a woman, for example, if you have a male bestie whom you keep very secret from your husband or from your boyfriend, there is no connection between him and your husband whatsoever. He doesn't know him. You don't talk about him to your husband, but your husband knows that you have this bestie that you call at all times. Sometimes you leave them hanging just to meet up with this bestie. Well, it can be seen as cheating because if the relationship is actually without ulterior motive, then I see no reason why it should be a Big secrets. I understand sometimes you just want to keep friends that we can confide in. Maybe you've had this friend before you even met your husband or your present boyfriend and you just want to keep that relationship rolling. Well, if it's going to be so secretive, then there is no guarantee whatsoever that nothing would happen. Because now he's a secret, he's a mystery friend. Anything could happen and nobody will know about it because it's a secret. Now, before I continue, let me clarify something here. There's a difference between having a family friend and a bestie that is secret. A family friend is someone who is friends with you as a woman, friends with your husband, and even friends with the kids if you have any. So it's not a mystery, it's not a secret thing. When you're calling him or maybe when he's calling you, you don't have to run off and go and answer calls somewhere at the back because you don't want anybody to hear what you're saying. You know, it's not a secret. That is a family friend. And But when you have a mystery friend who is just a bestie and is of the opposite gender and it's a very big secret, then it raises a lot of questions. And if your spouse is maybe being in doubt or asking you questions, you cannot blame him for being doubtful of that kind of relationship some of the key factors in a relationship are trust and communication if you cannot trust your current boyfriend or your husband to let him know about this mystery bestie of yours then i think it shows a lack of trust you see a lot of the time some people think that it's only when you begin to have sex with someone that you're truly cheating but for me i would say the moment you begin to keep secrets from your husband having a friend that he knows nothing about you're already cheating because now you're keeping secrets you're communicating it gives room for a whole lot of things to happen forget this whole now friend is just being i mean i not keep friends again it's just a friend there is nothing there we're just friend i've known him for years if you've known him for years then introduce him to your family bring him home he doesn't necessarily have to be friends with your family but i mean the fact that you bring it up and let him meet them and let your husband meet him shows a sign of respect which is very important in a relationship and this also goes to the man do you have a female bestie who is a mystery and you know you keep saying she's just a friend she's just a harmless friend come on don't be so intrusive don't be so doubtful of me i'm not cheating if your motive about the whole friendship is very very clear and there is nothing to hide then you have no problem introducing this your female bestie to your wife you see sometimes they will put ourselves in positions where things can just happen we now human beings will be will not be iron you know as a man especially you're a human being if you're having a secret bestie nobody knows about her when you have sex with her nobody will still know about her until one day maybe the thing sweet you so much you go come spoil your marriage or spoil your relationship that's last now human being you be if you're meeting up with a bestie at a hotel room cozy room and all of that she's a woman you're a man a street man at that then anything can happen same goes to the woman. Anything can happen as long as it's a secret. You can continue to keep it a secret. And you know, before you know, maybe in the long run, it's going to actually cost you more than you bargained for. And the reason why I would argue that keeping a secret male bestie or a secret female bestie while you're in a relationship can be a sign of cheating is because now it means that there is no respect for your spouse. I mean, whatever happens to respect, imagine you as a man, maybe you're in the middle of something with your wife or maybe with your present girlfriend and then this mysterious bestie calls, you leave her hanging and you go off, running off middle of the night to meet up with this person. I mean, going off at odd hours. 
and your wife or maybe your girlfriend doesn't even know about this person that is even cheating and it shows lack of respect for your spouse if there's anything that can break a relationship is lack of trust lack of respect and lack of boundaries i mean there should be boundaries introduce her to this bestie of yours introduce him to this bestie of yours like i said they don't need to be friends with your family but the fact that your family knows about them shows that you respect your spouse and you trust them you trust their judgment that is just it you can draw matter they go back and forth if you trust your husband if you trust your wife there is nothing wrong in having a friend best friend at that but try and introduce them to your family and let's not confuse this whole thing about he's a friend he's just a friend he's harmless there's a difference between a family friend and a secret bestie like i said there is nothing bad with having a bestie who is not your spouse but then i think if you can make your spouse your bestie then it's going to help strengthen your relationship a whole lot because even best friends fight Imagine if your husband is your best friend or your wife is your best friend. When you fight, because you're already friends, there's always room for reconciliation. You're not going to fight to the finish. You're not going to fight to the point where you'd have said so many things that there is no going back. In fact, we're done and dusted with this. Because why? You're already friends. Best friends do fight. If best friends do fight and then your spouse is your best friend, then when you fight, you're going to reconcile because even while you're fighting, you still recognize the fact that this person is my best friend. So, you know, I have to just, I go remain the one who will go to reconcile. You know, you understand what I'm trying to say. So if someone is saying you have a secret male bestie while you're in a relationship and the person is thinking that you're cheating, the doubt is not out of place. Don't put yourself in a position where someone is going to doubt you even when you've not done anything. Just be transparent. Remember, trust, boundaries, and respect. These three things are the pillars of any strong relationship. Know when to draw the lines. This bestie might even be an ex, someone you've had an affair with before. Remember why you chose your current spouse. I mean, if you really wanted to be with your bestie who is your ex, then you should have been with them. The fact that you chose this person in your life right now means that there is something that you have seen and maybe the so-called bestie doesn't have it. So always remember the core principles of every relationship. Outside friendships are not bad, but trust, boundaries, communication, and respect matters a lot thank you so much for watching i'll see you on the next one